but I'm always alive. Your grace has found me just as I am. Empty under, empty under, what a life Your grace has found me, your grace has found me just as I am. fight for you tonight say my father my father say my father my father say my father my father battle is your battle arise fight for me let the enemy submit tonight in the name of Jesus arise fight for me let the enemy submit tonight Arise, fight for me. Let the enemy submit tonight. Let the sickness submit. Untimely death submit. Scarcity submit. Arise and fight for me. Let the enemy submit tonight. This battle is not my battle. It's your battle. Every battle that has come against my greatness. Every battle that has come against my destiny. Every battle that has come against my future, this battle is not my battle. They must not take another person in my family. My father, arise and fight this battle for me. Eperiata no shada, elepe roto, eselepe rianagadisha, 
eta ne katoshi alagadiza eka nasha dagadiza e pariata in jesus mighty name we pray it's powerful amen There are three enemies that we submit quickly right now. The number one enemy is the enemy against your congratulations. Every power that has vowed that 2023 you will not be congratulated. And it, you thought it was a joke until you just suddenly realized that this is the eighth month. And there has not been one single congratulation in eight months. Enemies against congratulations. What make a in this segment is the enemy that is wasting your labor. And he now makes somebody that is working as if he's not working. As if you are not putting any. And some people that don't know what you have gone through or what you have done, they just say that man is lazy. That woman is lazy. Meanwhile, there are so much effort, but there is nothing to justify it. Wasted effort. Wasted labor. The end one to seven. One to see is when I say one, you will shout Jesus. For there is no any other name that we are given under heaven by which a man can experience deliverance and rescue other than the name of Jesus. But when that name is mentioned, anything that has a nail must bow. Anything. Lift it up. Sometimes some of these spirit of untimely death come in form of terminal disease. High blood pressure. Or sometimes the doctor don't even see what, they, what is happening to you. They just say, my door of attack, they have opened against your life. In the name of Jesus, at this count, those doors shall be closed. <laughs> Lift up your two hands above your head. We're counting from one to seven, one to six, we call Jesus. At the seven one, you are going to scream fire and put the two hands on your head. As you put the two hands on your head, that affliction will check out of your body. Sometimes some of you, the weight will be too heavy for you to stand on your own. Just leave the Holy Ghost, let him do his work. Let him do his strange work and his strange act and your life will never be the same again. When I say one, you shout Jesus. One! Every spirit of sickness is also checking out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. This is the seventh one. Once you scream fire, put the two hands on your head. Leave the rest to the Holy Ghost. He will sort you out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The hour has come for these enemies to submit. And every other enemy that anyone may be battling with. And they have made up their mind that this is their section. Don't let such spirit. Another person will not go down in that family. Another person will not be buried in that family. Another person will not be buried in that family. Let that death go now. Let that death go now. Genotype is changing. Genotype is changing. Blood group is changing. Everyone that every spirit of lack of congratulation, check back to hell. Check back to hell. Check back to hell. 
Everyone that the devil is sowing the seed of cancer into your life. They just discover this lump in the breast. Every stone in your body. In the name of Jesus, let them drop right now. Anything in your body that can cut your life short with 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost take it out of your life. Let the Holy Ghost take it out of your life. Whether you are aware of it now or you are not aware, let the Holy Ghost take it out of your life. Every spirit of promise and fail, every spirit of about to, and then trouble will start. In the name of Jesus, let it be caught up now. 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 Another person will not suddenly die in your family. Everybody lift your hands and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost as I minister to these people. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. The enemies must submit. The enemies must submit. The enemies must submit. Mashat alada baria da gadosha. Ele baria da gadasha. Ele baria na gadash. Enemies must submit. Kalimi must submit. Marida barushada. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit. Mashat alada barriata nagadosha. Ale barria nagadasha. Ale gadosha. Ale baruga. Begin to declare the enemy must submit. The enemy must submit. The enemy must submit. The enemy of my next level. Submit now. Give up. Give up. Mashat alada barriata nagadosha. Eleka barriata. Eketo shada. The enemy must submit. Ayana shada. Akate shada. E barriata. Ayagadi shada. Eroto. Eketen siria. Eka barriata. Ayagado shada. The enemy must submit. Enemy against my marriage. Enemy against my congratulations. Enemies against my destiny. The enemy must submit. You will not hear any bad news. Only the shout of joy in the camp of the righteous. And that shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, breathe upon your word and let all the enemies submit tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering and please be seated. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The Lord said he's sending somebody up under 72 hours. It's a Mega app. Massive. It's going to push your life forward for many years. This one app that is coming. We are Israel walk in my ways I should soon their adversaries 
the haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should affair them also with the fineness of the wheat. And Psalm 66, verse 1 to 3. Make a joyful noise unto God. All ye lands. Verse 2. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. Truly, the enemies you have known over the years, they can submit, surrender, and be subdued. We were in the midst of service yesterday when the woman arrived from Baeza and came up and I saw her among the you come out. So is this not? She was one of the left uh, lieutenant of the former administration of the um, the president of the former administration before this last one. Herself and the other one, they have worked with the man since when he was um, deputy governor in Bayesa, and then governor briefly, and then came for, for four times that they couldn't see. She passed it out by herself from the bat canal. Whether seeds, fiber, or whatever, nobody could name it. And she came next Monday to testify. And the Spirit of the Lord said, in nine months, she will um, give birth to it, a child. That child was when you see somebody from Baeza, a Baeza that is Biani Lady Olua, you should find out. The, the life is a battleground. Secondly, the nature of the battle is spiritual. It's not physical. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Intelligence is the, is the brain and backbone of any nation. They spend so much on intelligence than hardware, little weapon. Sometimes there are some nations that, are, uh, that, 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 that have the embassy in our country that sometimes when you walk around 1 a.m., 2 a.m., you see them moving about. Before anything will happen, they have informed their, their, their citizens. They spend so much on intelligence. Battles are won by the high level intelligence. Not by rushing into anything. That's the way battle is won. By information. By knowledge. That's the way it is won. And that's why he said in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. He said, be strong in the law and in the power of his mind. We'll be getting there. But the question, very quickly, right in that verse, he said, when the enemy submit, what are the things that happen? You subdue your enemies. Number two, the hand of God is risen against your enemy. Everyone that ate you and ate your God, they disappear. That's number three. Lasting breakthrough. Lasting breakthrough. Supernatural provision. That project will not be abandoned. Unusual breakthrough. Victory all round. Were there situations in the scripture that enemies submitted? Too many of them. Let's look at five very quickly. And I will just mention them. Number one. Even the almighty God is number one. 
there was a battle in heaven. <laughs> they had to engage. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 10, 12. Revelation 12, 7 to 12. This is important because we live in a, in a, in a time now that there are many tomato Christians. Any little thing, well, Pastor, please help me to ask God, what have I done? What have I done? What is really my offense? What you have done is that you are born into this earth. And when you, when you now get born again, it becomes even true, uh, true battles. That you are born into this world. You are born into battle. The Bible said there was war in heaven. Can you imagine? Satan took war to heaven. There was war in heaven. Look, this is what caught my attention. Michael and his angels, they were not watching. You don't watch battle of life, you wore it. You don't watch. Who, who among you that is revealing my secret to the king of Israel? They said nobody, but there is one man. His name is Elisha. Anything you do, you see, battles are fought with intelligence, information. Anything you say under your house, Elisha know it. He's the one revealing it. Then they sent army to go and arrest Elisha. And when they got there, they surrounded his house. And Elisha woke up in the morning. And the servant said, ah, we are done for. He said, relax yourself. They that be with us are more than they that be with them. He blindfolded all of them and led them and said, the person you are looking for is not here. Follow me. Follow me. The, the enemy submitted. Every enemy of your destiny, they will submit tonight. Number five, the last one, Second Kings chapter 19, verse, if you read it from verse 1, but from verse 32 to 37. It's a very interesting case, but because of time. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city. Hear this, every threat of the enemy you are hearing, that threat is silenced tonight. Give it to us from verse 20. This king sent his servant and they were boasting. You see, do you think your God can deliver you? We will do this, we will do that, we will do that. The Isaiah, the son of Amos, said to Ezekiah, saying, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, That which thou hast prayed to me against Shenanchereb of king of Assyria, I have had. Somebody, God has had your prayer tonight. Because this king just came up. And he was intimidating. Everything intimidating your life. As God of heaven lives, there is going to be freedom tonight. <laughs> Every threat against your head, they have given you some report and it looks like you are going down. In the name of Jesus, you are not going down, you are coming up. I say you are coming up. I say you are coming up. I say you are coming up. It will be empty threats. In the name of Jesus. The question is, what are the secret to make the enemies to submit? Proverbs 24 verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, it's not because the enemy is bigger than you. It's because thy strength is small. Hear this. Battles are fought with strength. Capacity energy if thou faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 therefore be strong in the law be strong in the law and the power of his mind I show you two secrets very briefly and they are right there be strong in the law and be strong in the power of his might. Be strong in the law and be strong in the power of his might. There are many of us, we are very light. So the enemy can carry us here and there. We are very light. Very light. He can carry the business. He can carry the... We are very light. Look. In wrestling, that's why he said, we wrestle not. There is a wrestling going on. And in wrestling, 
the, the, it is your, they measure them by their strength. There is feather weight, there is light weight, there is heavy weight. Heavy weight. So it's a wrestling. So they can't put feather weight and heavy weight. When heavy weight is coming, feather weight will reverse. Have you, have you not watched some of those wrestling before? Somebody come on the screen and then the other one says, <laughs> you know, yeah. because by that he look at it, he's just reversing. That you see, as he's looking at this, looking like this, like this. You build your spiritual muscle to a level that when devil send this demon, they look at you or you are coming. You know, have you come to destroy us? Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Are you? So the first key is to build your spiritual stamina. Be strong in the law. Be strong in the law. Proverbs 24 verse 5. A wise man is strong. A wise man is strong. How do you build your strength? You build your strength based on the knowledge of God and his word. Knowledge of God and his word. Daniel 11.32 They that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. But those that do wickedly against the covenant shall be corrupt. You your spiritual stamina. Knowledge of God. I know whom I believe. I know whom I believe. I, eh, eh, Isaiah, you can go. He told you I'm going to die. Leave me with him. Oh God, will you deny me the balance of my days? If I die now, those that are praising you will be shot one in your house. You know the way I used to dance? God said, Isaiah, have you not gone far? Go and meet the man. Give him another 15 years. He knows. He knows his ways. He knows his way. Will you deny me the balance of my days? So ordinary dream want to send you to grave. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. John 8, 32. You shall know the truth and the truth that you know shall set you free. I see somebody being free today. If you are the one, your amen will be better. If you are the one, your amen will be better. Amen. So you need to harm yourself with the knowledge of the truth. It is the truth that you know that gives you weight to combat the battle of life. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4 to 10. He came to Jesus too. How did Jesus? You see, let me tell you. Satan is very downhill. He will try anybody. He's very downhill. God just said you are son of God. How will you come to Jesus? Almighty Jesus. He came. He's very downhill. Very downhill. And the Bible even said he take him. Can you imagine? Satan took Jesus. Took him to the eye. But by the time he said it is written. He surrendered. You must arm yourself with the truth of the scripture. What has the Lord said? That's what determines your victory. Say I will win. Say I will win. Say I will win. Say I will win. What makes you to carry weight is your spiritual knowledge. Daniel 5, 25 to 31. Mene, mene, take care of prasin. You have been way in the balance and you don't carry weight. You must carry spiritual weight if you must win. Say, I will win. Hosea 4 says, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Proverbs 11, 9. True knowledge shall the just be delivered. So, it calls for you to eat the word 
like you are eating food. Hear this from tonight. Anything less than two hours in the word of God and scripture, whether listening to tape or whatever, you are running a risk. Write it down. Anything less than two hours. And hear this, anything less than five chapters in the scripture per day, you are not doing good to yourself. Write it down, oh, go with a meal. And just five chapters and then um, um, two hours in the world. Do you know that there are some of us, what we spend on Facebook is more than that too? You are moving from page to page. From page to page. Ah, ah, ah. Could you have bought a... Uh, and you are reading all the comments. <laughs> the word. The word, the word, he in it. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workmanship who needed not to be ashamed. You won't be put to shame. So that at every combat, you are tumbling scriptures. Scripture is coming out of your mouth. The devil say, I want to take your life. Is there no way? Now, when it comes to untimely death, how many scriptures do you know? When it comes to healing, how many scriptures do you know? When it comes to prosperity, how many scriptures do you know? When it comes to peaceful marriage, how many scriptures do you know? And then, apart from what you know, how many of them have you eaten? Because the, the, the scripture you know is different from the scripture you have eaten. There are many times that a chef is dying of hunger. He's the one preparing food, but he said he doesn't have appetite. I thank my God. It's only the God that made that I'm not a chef. There's no way I won't have appetite. God knows. I must. I, no way. No way. You must hit it so that at every challenge you are tumbling in. How many scriptures do you know on raising children? Therefore, you can struggle with this one. No way, my children shall be taught of the law and great shall be the peace of my children. In the name that is above every other name, receive this grace now. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. You know why? The word of God is a sword and a shield. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17 and 18. Let me show you this and then I go to the second one. Then We know about the second one very well, but we really practice it. And take the element of salvation and the word and the sword of the spirit. What is the sword of the spirit? Eh? What is it? The word of God. In your spirit, not the word of God, the Bible uh, Sunder vine that you are carrying the Bible though. Because growing up, you know, thank God for my my mother would just say, Take the sword. We, we used to cut the devil with the by the time we finished, we still have a bad dream. It was later we got to know that it was the one inside. The one you have eaten that is inside your spirit. Now the Holy Ghost will take it in your spirit and make it a sword in your mouth. The Holy Ghost will take it in your spirit. So you are just quoting it from your spirit. What the devil is saying is, fear him, fear him, fear him, fear him. One thing about this word of God is, is two edges. Two edges in the sense that you strike the devil and the devil could not strike you. Because this word also becomes a sheet. Give us verse 17 and 18. Or give, give us verse 16. Please don't miss this. Now, above all, taking the seed of faith. 
wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery dart of the wicked. And then the word. Now, what is faith? Faith is the word of God. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. So, the word of God is offensive and defensive. You can strike the devil, but when you strike the devil like this, he cannot strike you back because you are still there. The reason why many Christians are affected is because they don't have this understanding. That's why you see somebody that is maybe call himself a pastor, he now went to strike, go and do something, and he's hitting his Bible. He doesn't understand the second aspect, and that is the faith aspect which protect you and shield you. You attack them and they can attack you. Because you are shielded by your faith. Praise the Lord. Did you get something? Number two is prayer and fasting. That one, you know, he said, be strong in the Lord. How to be strong in the Lord is by eating the word and digesting it. The two, he now said, be strong in the power of his mind. What is the power of his mind? It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, how do you get strong in the Holy Ghost? It's by prayer. Holy Ghost is like fanning a fire. The more prayerful you become, the more he will come around your life. Holy Ghost, anytime you need him to come down, you must pray him down. You must pray him down. Luke 24, 49. Luke 24, 49. Tarry until you be endued with power. Tarry. Wait. Act chapter 2, from verse 1 to 4. They were waiting, and then the power, they were praying, and then the power came down. Act chapter 4. Verse 26 to 31, they were praying and then the power also came down. You pray him down. You pray him down. You, all this, I can't joke with my sleep. Oh, they don't fight back to apply like that though. Even if it is one hour between 12 midnight and 4 a.m. before you hear another sound. You know the sound? Take over the spiritual environment. Take over the spiritual environment. Take time to pray in the night. You know why? In the day, too many distractions. As you are praying, your phone is ringing. Real people do spiritual work in the night. I've told you before. One quality night VG is equal to three day dry charge. Night VG is very, very effective in dealing, in doing business of prayer. And sometimes you may need to add fasting to it. Please, this is how to win the battle of life. Don't joke with your life. You must not die before your time. You must reach your goal. The enemy must not scatter what you are building. Our battle is essentially spiritual. You must engage. Stand to your feet. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can clap better for him. In the name that is above every other name, that enemy is submitting right now. The wicked is submitting right now. The wicked is submitting right now. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands and say, My father, my father. Thank you for the word you have sent to me. To you alone be all the glory. Say, my father, my father. Thank you for the word you have sent to me. To you alone be all the glory. Go ahead and give him thanks. Bless his holy name. Exalt him right now. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Mashatalarabarianagadosha. Eleparata. Eleperoto. Eleparata. Ayaga du shada, Eria tano shada, Eroto, Eria kadagadosha, Abariata. In Jesus' name we pray. 
lift up your voice. Say every threat of the enemy. Please pray this prayer with all your heart. Aya, aspire, aspire. Cancel that threat. Cancel that threat. Cancel that threat. Cancel that threat. Mashata la da barriata. Ele perroto. Eka dagabisha. Abarrosa. Ele perrata. E barriata. I can't. I cancel the threat. I cancel the threat. I cancel the threat. Mashat ayala da barriata. E riata gadushada. Abariata nagadasha. Abariata. Eke teke toshada. 